Time to take a closer look inside the Sunday papers with Miguel and Darren now. Darren, uh, let's start with you. you yeah, this is a big move for Manchester United. We've spoken so many times about them. And there's a headline, oh man, it's this man, uh, Omar Barada, who's gone across Manchester from City to United. Look at the subject because it tells a story. United pull off a massive coup by luring the City uh, CEO, Omar Barada, to Old Trafford. He is the guy in charge of their footballing operations. He's been hugely successful. He, and, and when you bear in mind that they have, what is it, 11 clubs across Europe, across the world, uh, as part of the City Football Group, and all of them have had varying levels of success. The one I think of straight away is Girona, who, is, who are competing for mm. the title in Spain, and they appear to have come from the clouds. So to do, they've got some wonderful players, but they're an example of just how effective that City operation is. When you think about all of that, this is a coup for United. And there are two things just to point out with this. Many times we talk about United on this show around about 10 o'clock in the morning after they've lost or drawn or disappointed or there's been some kind of issue that's dominated the news agenda the day before or in the uh, in midweek. And it's got to the stage where we've all talked about the fact that the solution isn't any one player. The solution is a culture, cultural shift, mm. a, a structural shift, and a way of operating that takes the players, if you like, out of the equation and changes the ideology. And with that in mind, I just want to read you something from the statement that uh, was put out by Manchester United yesterday. It says, the club is determined to put football and performance on the pitch back at the heart of everything we do. Omar's appointment represents a first step on that journey. Yeah, he's been there at City since 2016, and, and sort of Manchester City has said, you know, this is a compliment, the fact that he, you know, see it as a compliment that they wanted him. It is a huge coup, though, isn't it, for, as Stan was saying, Miguel? Yeah, uh, also, I think Sam Wallace described in Telegraph as maybe the most significant executive move across the big club since Peter Kenyon actually left Manchester United for Chelsea at the very start of the Bramovich era. Mm. And I suppose there's maybe something in, in that in terms of kind of the, um, the parallels too, because say, when, when this ownership took over Manchester City, after the initial kind of four-year plan, what was, their, what, did they, what was their most kind of uh, striking step? It was basically to, they saw what was at the top of football, which at that point is Barcelona, and went and hired a series of executives from Barcelona. Best in class. Yeah, one of them being Omar Barada. Mm. Um, so now you'd wonder, is this what United are trying to do themselves, having fallen, so, fallen so far behind City? Um, are they just looking at who's top of the game? Well, let's go for that. Now, Barada wasn't in quite the same role he is in at Manchester United, but I suppose in terms of his own career, it, he'd want a step up in that way. I suppose there's another kind of interesting context, given City faced the... Um, the, the, the 115 alleged breaches, um, which will, I suppose, depending how that go, if, say, they are found guilty, will bring sc scrutiny on the hierarchy from that time. Uh, mm -hmm. So there are a lot of kind of um, subplots swirling into this, what well, is a very interesting, interesting story. Interesting thing, though, in Martin Ziegler's piece in The Telegraph, he says that Omar had joined, he, his employment predates all of that. So, so okay. he was not. Uh, around at the time of these uh, alleged, alleged breaches yeah. uh, on obviously City uh, denying the wrongdoing. I think as far as uh, Barada's recruitment is concerned, for me, the significance of it is this. Edward Wood was obsessed by celebrity. And if you look at many of the biggest signings during his reign, they're all A-listers or had been A-listers. And it was with an eye on increasing... And to be fair, Ed talked very openly about that about being major players commercially. Uh, Rich and Arnold maybe tried to move a little bit more towards football, but still had one eye on celebrity. This is about the football.